terrible happened yesterday that brought us on a great violation of human rights and other international treaties. We are on our obligation as a country to protect the rights of people who run away from their own countries for well-founded fear of persecution. And other countries in this region have respected that. Honor President Doe, a lot of people ran away from here and went to Africa Coast. The government of President Doe wanted them back. Some went to Guinea, some went to Sierra Leone, but they were not sent back here. We have not had a history of the countries within this sub-region sending people back to Liberia where these people who Liberia ran away from here have said they ran away because of well-founded fear of persecution for their lives. Liberia broke record yesterday, very bad record, by sending someone back. A former law enforcement officer, a former law enforcement administrator, who was removed and then ran away and came to Liberia in safety. And instead of the government of Liberia protecting him, sent him back yesterday. Even if there was an extradition treaty between Liberia and, and, and Sierra Leone, the law on extradition clearly states that no one will be sent back to his country where the offense is considered political. So even that is a violation. The man is being accused of being part of an attempt to overthrow the government in Sierra Leone. According to the record, he came here since 2022, March. An election just took place. There is an emotional atmosphere in Sierra Leone. I consider this as a political figure now, as a conspiracy between the current government of Sierra Leone and the current government of Liberia to protect each other mutually from dissenters. And this is not good for our country. It's not good for our subregion. It undermines the peace and stability of, 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 of this subregion, especially the Manorovian subregion. It is bad, and I, I strongly call upon all political parties to condemn this singular action because we are potential victims of this same action. We could be running to Sierra Leone, and we could be running, and then we could be returned here to be persecuted. So this is really alarming for me. So I call upon the civil society, all political parties in this country, the religious leaders, the 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 the, uh, the chief, uh, the, the Zos and, and Zanda Kawa, and all of the, the traditional leaders in this country, to to say that they should stop. And I want to say, I applaud the. the head of the Human Rights Commission, who spoke yesterday, condemned the government action. Even though he's head in government institution, condemned the government action and said he will file a petition for uh, a corpus. When he does do does so, we will join him. Other people will join him, you know, to hold the government accountable. There is no legal justification for what the government did yesterday. Even if it is a question of the defense and security pact, sir, it's the Defense and Security Pact and all other instruments do not undermine the obligation of Liberia to protect people who run away from their countries for well uh, final fear of persecution. Wrong. All right. <clears throat> so I'm Stephen Ravos, and I report for the Atlantic Broadcasting Corporation. Uh, yesterday, release indicated from the government or signed by Information Minister indicated that. Uh, Based on the 1986 Tertiary Agreement that was signed between the several union government and the Liberian government, was based on that act that they had to extradite uh, Mohammed Turi from Liberia to Sierra Leone based on the act alleged they committed. So that treaty has been there since 1986. But that treaty was there when a lot of Liberians left from here and went to Sierra Leone. Whom government accused? of aggression against the Liberian government. And the Serena government under its treaty obligation, international treaty obligation, protected those people. Even as recently as a few years ago, uh, the, the talk show host, Herman Costa, went to Serena 
And it was clear that the government of Liberia wanted him. The Sierra Leonean government did not turn him over. We violated our obligation to protect the right of the man who came to Liberia to seek asylum, to seek, to seek refuge. People shouldn't be doing this. Liberia is the only country in the world called Liberia, land of liberty. We are supposed to be a paradise of respect for human rights, of protection for human rights. And government after government, we are listed among the highest abuses of rights in the world. We have to stop this. This is one of the reasons why I'm going to be president of Liberia. So that Liberia realizes the dream for which Liberia was established. When the Declaration of Independence was signed in the Old President Baptist Church, we said, we will show to the world that this will be a place of asylum from abuse. How with the government that said that came to power on the motto of change for hope will be creating this type of hopelessness in the sub-region. No citizen in West Africa or even in the immediate Mediterranean region want to take refuge in Liberia now. It's scary. It's scary for even us as Liberian citizens and advocates, you know, opponents of the government in power. It is scary. Councillor, do, do you remember in your recent time when the ECOWAS had a dialogue with uh, government officials in, in Liberia and President we are condemned the issue of coup d'etat in Africa relating to the recent one in Malay? I mean, don't you think this was in relation to this commitment to making sure that the issue of coup d'etat should, should come to an immediate stop? In, in Africa and West Africa. I mean, coming over this individual was allegedly uh, the accused of, of committing or carrying on an act of coup in Sierra Leone could be an act of promoting the issue of peace and stability in, in Africa and West Africa. I don't think that that action was consistent with that. Because you see, even that, that, that position does not give the government of Liberia any excuse to violate the right of the, the rights of anyone who comes here the refuge because we have international obligation all right you you have to go through due process in fact if this man had come like a month or two ago the suspicion uh, you know uh, the, the, the validity of the claim of certain government will have actually be a little bit more reasonable for a man who came here since last year march even before the election I think this is a, a, a whole design to persecute openness of the government. And Liberia should not be part of such conspiracy of the Serbian government against its own citizens. It is scary because we believe that there could be a quid pro quo for what Sierra Leone, the, 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 the government of Liberia doing for Sierra Leone now, so Leone could do it for, for, for Liberia. Then what happened to the rest of us? It has a chilling effect on dissenting views. People will be afraid to take, to, 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 to carry on. The, because this man was not, you know, like he was, they were trying to carry on could he die militarily and he was, some, some coup makers were arrested and he ran away. No, it is wrong. Is scary and the government should not should not do that you know if that man is killed this government will bear responsibility for that it's wrong very wrong and all librarians should condemn it because it's unprecedented we have not even though government didn't do it we have not been doing it sending people back this is the country that Mandela was in, that many people during the liberation struggle were in. People took refuge in Liberia. Mariam Makiba, Yuri Masikila, all these people used to live here because they felt Liberia was a place that protected people who came here. Because that's how this country started. The free slaves and free born black people in America came here to seek asylum. And that this place was supposed to be a, a paradise of protection of human rights. So the action taken by President we are yesterday to go against the history and the dream of this country and goes against our international legal obligation.
And even the constitution of Liberia got no due process was done. Even in extradition, you have to go through court proceedings. I'll take your last question, Dr. All right, Council, uh, my name is Claudia Stigman Jr. from the uh, Daily Observer newspaper. I heard what you just said concerning President We are mistake, his government mistake of turning over this Luding guy yesterday to his government. So uh, I want to know what you think was the best way forward that the government should have, and or the best way the government should have done what they did yesterday. So. We had soldiers from other countries come on our soil. Okay. When you have extradition, you you send a formal request from the, to the foreign minister of Liberia, okay. who then give it a justice ministry. I was so let's not general. We want through extradition, you know, cases from America, and then the person is taken to court, to the magistrate court. And the president has a right to hire a lawyer and to be defended. It goes to due process. No one is taking. They are warrants. We're represented by me and a few other lawyers, Amar Sharif and others. And because of the condition in Africa, it was clear that the book could have been extradited. But we clearly convinced the government of Liberia that this was fear for their life that it will be persecuted. And those avoidance are here. What makes it alone different? This is not the first time that librarian is faced with something like that. So they should have done it. You send the request for extradition along with the, a court document, maybe a rate from the magistrate court or so, or an indictment showing the crime the person has been charged with. None of that happened. You don't get uh, soldiers or police officers come from another country and just come and say, we want this person to take. That's the, that's, the, that's the rule of the jungle, that lawlessness. This is not rule of law. What the government did yesterday undermines rule of law. It's, not, it's unacceptable. I'm asking all political leaders in this country, Ambassador Barker, Mr. Cummings, and all of the other political leaders to join me to condemn this. It was a barbaric act. It was not an act of law. And Liberia is the oldest independent republic that has always been, you know, at least pretend to be governed by law. What we did yesterday is not supported. But no country in the Soviet Union has been doing that. Because if that happens, government in power will just be exchanging suspects and taking action against them. That will undermine peace and stability in the subject. It's not good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Council.